Hi Leo, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your tarot reading. It's all about who loves you, who is attracted to you, um, who's got feelings towards you. Let's see who this person is. What we're going to check out, we're going to see who they are. We're going to see what comes after this, what might happen between you and this person and how you're feeling about this whole thing as well, how your energy is. So let's clear the space of any previous readings and energies that have been around on this table, calling your spirit guides in to come and guide us with a reading and sending good vibes to you guys out, out, out there as usual if you guys have been here before thank you so much for coming in and watching again it's always nice to see your comments below as well i get to know you guys um by the way i've noticed some people do sometimes give donations on the channel i'm just saying thank you so much i'm sending my blessings and positive vibes through to you guys for doing so i can now pay for my herbs so thank you and um what else personal readings as well if you want to check that out link in the description box below they are marked down until the end of june so let's go let's have a look and see Let's see. Tarot card coming up here. This is interesting. Three of Cups as well. And the Queen of Inspiration. Okay, this is somebody that's interested in you. This is someone who's interested in you. You know them maybe from work. I'm just going to put this out there because it's a bit... Um, they may be like, it's, it's not, it's kind of frowned upon, maybe just slightly, that you guys are, um, are kind of having a thing with each other. I don't know if it's as of yet a thing, but there's something going on here. Okay, it's work related. As soon as I put down the, the last card, I just heard the spirit guides going work. And I was like, oh, work, oh, work, work, work. Um, they are very attracted to you. They got the chariot card coming up here, which is also Cancer's energy as well. They are coming in here. They really want to just move forward towards you. Um, they flirt a lot. They're very kind of open the, around you as to how they feel about you. They let you know. So this is something at work that's happening here. The Queen of Inspiration energy, it tells me that, yes, there could be somebody even above you. Whoa, guys, I'm just saying, I don't know the situation that's going on here, but they, you, it's possibly they could be somebody as like a superior or works above you. Or if they work somewhere, even if they're not above you, they're in another comp different department, they could be higher than you in the career spectrum you understand um they're a very charming person by the way for some of you guys i'm just going to put this one out there it's really random you guys both of you may be working in an industry that's very public orientated so either you like in sales or marketing or even in something like the music industry or you in um advertising or even acting, it's sort of an acting vibe going on here as well, like an actor or a speaker, something of that manner where there's a lot of like meetings that get held and somebody will come and speak. It can even be that person. I'm just saying for both of you guys, you're in that world kind of like, it's very much out there kind of energy. So I want to see what's going to happen here between the two of you. What's, what can happen? Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. Wow. Wow, ha, ah, that's different. A king and a queen of swords has rocked up here in your reading. You guys, you're very well matched, hey. I'm just saying both of you might be in this industry like this. Both of you could be sort of like um in this world. It's very out there. It's like very um like the way you look at matters, you know, maybe you models, I'm just saying, you know. It's like how you look matters. It's like how you present yourself matters. I'm just imagining in like like some kind of like corporate world, you know, where you sometimes have to go and speak to a huge bunch of people. How you dress is important, you know what I mean? How you present yourself, how you speak, very important. But there is love blooming here. You've got a Knight of Cups energy. I can see with the chariot card being above this, they know the situation. They do realize that the situation between you and them is a little bit inappropriate. It's like, okay, it can be frowned upon. I don't feel like, okay, guys, you're going to lose, get fired for doing this. But it's like, in the general um, population of the world, it can be like, oh, you're dating your co-worker. Okay. Oh, how's that working? You know, it's kind of like people may sometimes go, it's not the best of ideas, you know, because I do feel like both of you are extremely career driven. Um, with the King and Queen of Swords being here, it tells me that both of you are extremely focused on your careers and highly intelligent. Both of you guys are very well matched. Um, their energy is good. I kind of like feel like I pick up the energy as being the King of Swords energy, but it can also be yours as well. Their energy is good. It does indicate that they're stable. It indicates that they're loyal as well. They kind of like very loyal to the place where they work or to their career. That's what I pick up most more than anything between the two of you guys. You really 
are focused on being successful, both of you. Uh, the other one of you has got a bit of a Queen of Swords energy. I kind of feel like it's, you're thinking a lot about the situation. You may sometimes feel like you, um, you, you're worried about your career. If something can happen between the two of you and it goes wrong, can it affect your career moving forward? But there's a vibe going on here that the love is coming anyway. And it's not just for you. I feel like it's for them as well. I feel like both of you are catching feelings. And when you go to work, it's like you get excited when you see this person. Ooh, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. And it's like when you see them coming in the office door, you, you notice them, they notice you. And it's just this energy, this static electricity that's in the air all the time. You know what I mean? I, I feel like your coworkers can feel it. It's they're like they're not going guys get a room you know what i mean i'm just saying i feel like they can feel it i flipped a card i want to see what cards did i flip here i flipped a card yeah definitely there's your two of cups the feelings are coming guys the feelings are coming there's your problem <clears throat> There's the problem. It's the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles being in the wrong reverse, the wrong position, the reverse position. Under the circumstances, it would be the wrong position. The two of cups, the feelings are getting caught between you and them. You're catching feelings. And then on top of it as well, it's this energy of, is this the right thing to do here? With the nine of pentacles being in the reverse position, work related because of the pentacles energy. But at the same time, it's like going, are we doing the right thing here? Because then the three of pentacles, the three of cups being here in the reverse position talks about groups of people that get together. But something, yes, it's a good vibe, everything. But something is happening. I just noticed my light went out here. I'm going to pull it back on, guys. I don't know why is it clicking like that. Let me see. Let's hope the lights will return because I don't want to. There we go. For some reason, I think I bumped the plug. Let's hope it doesn't go off again. Um, the thing is here with this energy, it's like you're going, it's we it may be slightly the wrong timing or inappropriate to do what we're doing. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're kind of keeping it a bit of a secret there. There's two cards that indicate that this could be wrong timing. I like the way the light goes out in the middle of your reading. It's not an omen, guys. I know the light was giving me some problems. It's the plug fitting. So um, the Eight of Wands energy, definitely it's happening very quickly, but you're worried that it might be the wrong thing because the Eight of Wands is in the reverse position. And there's a concern here. It's like, I feel like you guys are keeping this a secret. Okay. <clears throat> if you are keeping this a secret, I don't, for some of you guys, something has already happened between the two of you, and it's like literally keeping it a secret. Um, with the Four of Swords being there, for others of you, you have not yet gotten to the place where it's gotten intimate, for instance, like there's an actual relationship, situationship, whatever this is going on here. Um, I'm going to give you one little warning here. It is going to come out. Okay, it is going to come out, it's going to be found out that you guys are together with each other. And it may not come out at the time that you want it to come out. So there will be a little bit of a backlash that happens here with the Four of Swords energy. You see, there's a little bit of rough water there. I do kind of like feel like it's going to be something that gets revealed and people start talking about it kind of vibe. It's a little bit of like a scandal kind of thing. But at the end of the day, um, you're going to have to ride that, especially if you guys are interested in, interested in each other. It does happen that two people meet each other, they fall in love with each other, they work in the same place, and it ends up that you even find later, you know, they, I've seen situations where people go to work somewhere in a company and then they find out that the two people working in the company are actually married to each other and it's not the best of thing but it happened and there they are and they met when they were working so it does move forward it does move forward even though it's not always acceptable to be so but i do feel like if you're trying to keep the secret it's kind of, it's going to come out i feel like it's going to come out oh we've got two cards here let's get some spirit guide advice yeah they say it's going to come out but you're going to go forward with it anyway it's going to move forward anyway you got a ten of swords energy a lot of people are going to be Having fun on this one. That's what I can tell you. <clears throat> yeah. The Ten of Swords is what happens after the Four of Swords happens. It's like it's warning that there's a bit of rough water coming here. It's going to happen pretty quickly and unexpectedly. It's like people may start gossiping about what I told you. I feel like your co-workers can feel the energy in the air between you and them. I feel like it's going to come out more that there's something going on between the two of you. And they may try to... Uh, like really spread that like gossip mongers that are really spreading rumors and over exaggerating things as well and really start talking and saying some things that might really even hurt you because I kind of felt like this person might be a bit higher than you and it's almost like they're going yeah you're gonna you like let's just use something really mean but I feel like this is something that you must be prepared for it's almost like they're saying yeah you're sleeping your way to the top 
kind of vibe. Ooh, that's so mean. Who does that? People do that. That's who does that. And it's going to be this energy of get ready for that. People are not going to wish you the best, okay? You're working with your coworkers. It's not... You know how co-workers are, you know what I mean? It's not the best place sometimes. You know how people are. There's always those few people that would love to stick a sword in your back. You understand? There's always that jealousy that's taking place. There's always that drama that's taking place. That's the inappropriate energy. And that can also be why you're keeping it away from people. But it, I feel like it will come out, but you've got an Ace of Swords energy. So what if it comes out? I feel like you guys are going to ride this with each other. You're going to face it head on and you're going to overcome it. As long as the two, because this two of cups is right here. The two of cups is there. There is a connection between the two of you, without a doubt. King and queen of swords energy. This is a very strong reading. And the emotions is there. It's just that you're worried about your job here. You're worried about your work. And because of what people are going to say. But at the end of the day, you're going to succeed above all of this. You're going to be able to pass through this energy. I feel like you guys will move forward with each other no matter what. There we go, guys. I'm wishing you all the best going forward with them. Don't give up. Do not allow anybody else to try to stop you from your happiness, guys. If you've got a connection with somebody like this. The Knight of Cups, the two queen, King and Queen of Swords, and the Two of Cups energy. And them wanting to be attached to you. It's so rare. You don't know how rare a connection is like this. You fight for it. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.